Hey guys, this is Mike from EAK Crew Productions, and today I'm bringing you a deck list. So let's get into it. Alright, so I sold a lot of my cards when I moved, but I still have enough cards to make an agent deck. I've been running it on Dueling Network, and well, it's been pretty consistent. I've got some wins, I got some losses. Uh, last night I lost to my buddy's Twilight, but I just beat some kind of Shockmaster thing. So let's let's get into it. Alright, so obviously you're going to run three Hyperion because he's amazing that triple shine ball of course you need it got the honest play of course everybody's pretty much like pretty much everybody this guy because he's 2100 beat stick if you got sank on the field and if you ain't then you get the search for sank by ditching him I love sank by the way the fact that I get the search for Hyperion it, it's all good it's all good then we got triple this guy because getting those shine balls out there on the field the gachi play is pretty crucial gachi i mean gachi's a wall people don't understand that man make that dude in the 2000 as well then we run double this guy it's another reason why we run that sink so we can special some of those banish monsters that we'd be using to pop stuff with with our hyperions and man it's, it's just a great card. Get that boost too. Run over a lot of stuff. We got that uh, agent. Uh, Earth. Right? Yeah. Because uh, we'd be searching for that Hyperion with the sink on the field. Or we'd be searching for Jupiter so that we can get the Shine Ball plays off. And then it's also a tuner so we can go into our sinks. Now we start. We switch up a little bit. I like to run a little dark engine. I wish I had some more dark cards, but you know, I just don't really after after that move giving my cards away. So we got the the Gale. It's nice because I can synchro with it. And its effect is pretty damn good. Then we got the Tragodia so that we can stop OTKs happening on us. Like see I wish I had a Gores, but I just don't. But we can stop uh OTKs on us for the Trigodia, and then we got some pretty good levels in this deck actually. We got three fours, twos, you know, I think Hyperion's either an eight or a seven. And then we got the Sorcerer right here, so we got the six, two. Sorcerer is great. He's actually liver than people think he is. Uh, Birdman, just because going into different stuff, man, I mean, we can go. Um, one turn we summon earth we protect it then we go for the v the jupiter play and then we return our earth with this you know and then we can play earth again maybe that time with sank on the field so that we can get uh hyperion we got that dd crow it's a great card i feel like that card's uh just really useful against a lot of card decks in the meta so i just main one it's a dark target Book of Moon, of course. Monster Reborn. Dark Hole. And I would be slapping down a heavy right now, but I just don't got one right now. And, you know, I ain't too sad about it because it's definitely an amazing card and I'd run it if I had it. But in this deck where I'm trying to run Field Spells and Valhalla and stuff, it kind of conflicts. Double MST. I might honestly want to push that to two, but with the power of Hyperion to pop cards, it's not that necessary. We got that cards from the sky, just in case we draw those shine balls, so we can get the draw phasing going on. And then, of course, we can always get those shine balls back, so don't worry about it. <laughs> well, you don't want to get a shine ball back, though. But if you ever have to ditch anything else, that's more useful. Then we got the Saint, real good card. Helps me win games by keeping my life points up, getting an extra pops, and searching for Hyperion. Running two Valhalla, just in case I open up with Hyperion on no agents, then I need a special summon Hyperion. GG. <laughs> then of course, two Forbidden Lance, because I hate back row, and I hate monsters that are stronger than mine. So, we run the Lansen. Great card this format, if you ask me. Then, of course, Torrential Tribute, because we'd be destroying stuff. That Mirror Force, because 
plusing is amazing. And then, of course, Malicious Descent. Miraculous. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Descent. But uh, that card has got to be one of the best cards in the deck because we're constantly removing with Hyperion. We're removing with uh, cards from the sky. And everybody's running that D prison. So we just get in our cards right back. I mean, I don't know how many times I've been Special Summon, Hyperion, Banish a Hyperion that's in my graveyard to pop a card, flip, Special Summon, Hyperion, pop another card, attack, 5,400, GG, you know, so, anyways, that's Mike from EAK Crew Productions, oh, oh, wait, I'm sorry, I'll go over my extra deck, I don't really have that good of an extra deck simply because I had to sell so much, but, here we go. We got the Chimera text. I don't have my side up with me right now, but I run Cyber Dragon if you're wondering. It's for like the Zen plays and the Girga matchups and stuff like that. And then of course, I thank God I have a Gachi. Uh, that Mist Worm. Don't really ever go into that fool, but hey man, Monster Reborn's a card, so Stardust. Great card. I'm thinking about trying to get a road. This dude. Honestly, just because I have them. I mean, you're going to see some of these guys, and they're just in there because I have them. Colossal Fighter. I still think you're a good card. Don't worry about it. Because we run that Gale, we can actually go into that card. That's a great card. Just a real strong 7-star right there. Because 7-star is one of the easier things to go into in this deck. We got the Black Rose to blow up the field. Best cards of the game. That Gaia Force for that strong 6-star that android so we can get some life points back even though with sank on the field we ain't losing much and then of course Catister because it's just an amazing card gets over so much it gets over so much but uh that's my that's my extra deck that's my deck hope you guys enjoyed the video peace